Yay, that still works. Um. Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, I went exactly the opposite direction of the gold farm. I just wanted to see what time. Oh, I can't tell what time it is. Wow, the first time you go through any portals, it just... Doggy, doggy, doggies. Okay, let's go up to the ice farm. Oh, it's snowing up here. just a regular piston right well ice is still forming that's good All right. Okay, ice farm still works. Good to know. Interesting. Where did that skeleton spawn? Uh, did he spawn here? Light level eight. Seven. Ah. So let's put a torch down. I have torches. That's good to know. So torch there would be fine. Okay. Mr. Wendell. This seems slower. But it works. That's the important thing.
Okay. Nice. Uh, I'm back in survival. That was a creepy sound. Probably because I'm standing over a monstrous ravine. Hi, doggies. How are you? Oh, there's lots of them. Hi, doggies. Very nice. I probably should cover that over. So far, everything looks like it's working. I haven't checked everything, of course, but... Uh, everything looks like it's working and the performance does seem to be improved so um, which is a very good thing uh, one of the nice thing about the, the latest 1.15 snapshot is that they fixed that stupid bug where there's a huge lag spike that happens when you go through a portal um, Mainly because it goes and it actually checks for a matching portal through the portal list or then rather than in investigating every single block to see if a portal exists on those blocks. Because it knows where the portals are. Yeah. Let's see if this still works. Ooh, spooky. Oh, I had it. I had the lights off, so the spider should be spawnable. Yep, there we go. Spiders. Okay. Very nice. Okay, let me go to the string farm. Oh, I have lots of stuff to clean up. Okay, uh, let me, uh, not string farm, let me go to the gold farm. I'll be back. Okay. Here we are at the gold farm. Oh, the spawning rates are definitely wacky. Oh, and that's going to create some interesting lag issues, I bet. Let's see if I can maintain a chain reaction, though. I wonder if the uh, the values in the Spiga config files changed, because you can you can customize spawning rates, and it seems like maybe they're a bit higher than they were. <laughs> Come on. I know they... Oh, there we go. They know they did some tweaking with the pigment anger situation so that you didn't get trapped in endless cycles of pigment aggro in the nether. But... Yeah, there's a lot of them here. Okay. Okay. Let's go make sure that everything's work. Oh. Um, okay. <laughs> Oh, that's uh, an interesting problem. The little baby pigman jockey rider thingies. Um, they used to just run off the... They used to just run off of the side of the platform. Which was a little bit weird, but... It was, it worked. It got him out of the way, at least. There we go. So, 
if they now decide to try to come after the player, that could be a that could be a problem here. And nobody's aggro at me anymore. Okay, well, gold farm still works. Okay. Um I I've been recording pretty long here, so already I didn't expect it to take this long, but uh so we will leave this here for now. Um or I'll, I'll call it an episode and then we will go uh we will go check out something else. Um we'll call that next episode and then we'll talk a little bit. Um so I still have some prep to do f before the upgrade and I'm going on a trip. Uh, and I probably will not want to do the update until after the trip, just in case something goes wrong. So I'm not, like, not at home to deal with it. So, anyway, that's that's it for now. This is Theron. It's been Minecraft Land Party. And uh, everything still seems to be working. Perfect. All right. Thanks for watching. Um, I will see you next time with more investigation of the world. All right, bye.